you know, the only thing with this lift is, you know, it kind of gets attached only when it's on top, uh, which is kind of makes no sense, but I'm just gonna roll with it. Hello and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. I'm Wuka from Honey Bunny Games and this is gonna be the last episode of The Factory. So what does that mean? Well, I'm gonna go inside, gonna show everything I did in the past few episodes and also, since you guys have been asking that a lot in the comments, I will have all the parts inside the machine available for down inside the factory available for download on Steam Workshop. Everything is vanilla, except maybe it does have the official uh, buttons mod, which is the thing that unlocks this thing, like code lock, uh, big button, panic button, joystick, key lock, uh, lever and stuff like that. But I don't think I used anything beside it, beside the official thing. So yeah, I think everything's gonna be good. So let me go in. First of all, I'm gonna have to open up the fence. I did kind of want to test a truck or something going in, but I don't have one that's kind of suitable for this. So that's just not gonna happen. I'm gonna delete this debris here I have from testing the machines. So I get in the yard and I see like, you know, a yard, I see some pipings going on. Um, so probably some coolant pipes, some oil and fuel pipes. And I see two garage doors. Uh, well, not garage doors, oh yeah, I, I kind of failed the loading and unloading docks. I didn't paint this guy. Uh, so let me quickly do that. Also, I'm gonna leave these things just in case if I'm gonna have to climb. So first of all, yeah, you would kind of get with a truck inside. You would go in here. This is the loading area. You, it's not kind of marked, but yeah, I'm just gonna go in, talk with the manager. This this door is closed. I'm I'm gonna like tell him I have this and this thing to unload here. The papers. He's gonna prove me that. Tell me to, you know, park the truck, so I'm gonna park the truck here. I could open this from the outside, but yeah, I'm gonna open it from the outside, so the truck is parked, the, the trailer is opened. And, okay, one. Oh yeah, I had the idea to have like two loading docks. Oh well, never mind, that's, that's good enough. So, I unload all the boxes in here. And as you can see, I did place some of them uh, to kind of give some ambient feel or something like that. I didn't work much on the environment because it's a, some kind of factory warehouse thing and those are kind of pretty bland, so I just didn't kind of touch anything with it. I think everything is fine as it is because, you know, it's not supposed to be looking nice, it's supposed to be effective. So once this thing is done, I'm gonna close the door, go back out, uh, you know, get the, the hell away with my truck. I'm gonna close the door because I'm letting the pull there out or the hotter in or something like that also you can kind of lock this door so yeah there's a safety lock uh you can ob obviously unlock it go inside and there we go now we are in the actually in the actual factory and now the factory worker is gonna do something like this so he's gonna place a crate a box in this location he's gonna start up the machine i did want to do something i totally forgot i just saw it now Oh, okay, so he's gonna start up the machine, the machine starts working with a crate. Uh, he's gonna go into his, well, managing position, I mean, uh, foreman position, something like that. So he can watch the crate, what's going on, where the crate's going, and all those tiny little details. He can, you know, get out, check the valves or something like that, uh, you know, play around with it. So let me get back to my machine thing. Uh, where's the crate? The crate is going, coming to the first machine, which is probably gonna stamp, I know, some mark or something like that. There we go. It's stamped. After it gets stamped, it's gonna go in here to kind of uh, bake the stamp onto the extra crate. So, it's gonna go inside. Come on, baby. You can do this. There we go. Lift is in use. That's why the red light is on. There we go. Green light. And this thing is gonna drop down here uh yep okay let's open it up there we go let's close it down there we go the baking starts everything is looking fine and fancy uh it's gonna come to this location now we manually have to you know 
make him go along the line and I close the lift down check this thing out and wait for the crate so after this crate is finished along with the other ones there we go there he grabs drops not grabs yeah uh there we go this thing is finished gonna turn off the machine we did process the crate so the crates are gonna get placed in here which is the unloading dock uh okay let me just rotate it randomly just like that uh okay yeah this is looking fine gonna leave like yeah double thing here that that's gonna look awesome uh place a few of them here and yeah i think that's fine so now the other truck comes in which is empty uh yeah he comes in he goes in here like i'm supposed to pick up all these boxes you just made where are they it's etc etc and whatnot so he's just gonna go out uh you know check the crate yeah i have to pick up these guys open the loading dock get outside you know park the truck uh load everything up and off he can go and that's basically it i mean if the game wasn't so laggy i would really really want to be like a big town that has lots of stuff like this that that actually functions because right now you can see if i turn this guy on everything kind of starts to get jittery and that is not good because yeah i kind of want to build a town that that would be so freaking awesome so freaking detailed but the game engine just doesn't allow me to do that so let's get back to the heart of the series which is this machine um it's a big machine uh so yeah we have conveyor belts which will be available for download i hope when the video is published but there could be like a day or two delay i'm not sure about that then we have a stamping machine i'm not i'm just gonna call them machine one two and three and stuff like that i i really don't i'm i'm bad with it, with the names and ideas so after that is gonna go into the lift which is probably gonna you know lift it up it's gonna go into the big machine where you kind of manually need to operate I know I could automate this, but the thing is, I kind of want the guy in here to manually do all this stuff. All this stuff. So you know, drop it down. Oh no, drop it down. Uh, the crate moves in, gets baked. I also kind of wanted to, you know, manually turn on the baking process, but that was kind of finicky. I kind of want wanted the sensor. Yeah, I already left the sensors. Uh, those sensor was uh, was. Uh, oh my god, stupid brain. Those sensors were supposed to kind of give you a uh, green light when you can turn on the bake uh, the bake machine, uh, but I was too lazy to actually do it. Then it goes back to the lift. This lift is much simpler. It's not automated for you know for stars. It's not automated, so you know. Oh, that's not the lift. This is the lift. You get him up. Uh, this thing pushes the crate out, and the crate goes down, uh, just like you saw right now also everything is kind of a detail and you know i have some decoration blocks like this um what are they called i think they're staircase short railings also have a lot of guys here and the cool thing is all the pistons well almost all the pistons have a coolant which is blue line and a oil which is you know dark brown and you know the only thing with this lift is you know kind of gets attached only when it's on top uh which is kind of makes no sense but i'm just gonna roll with it and also this guy has a fuel line which is you know baking purposes um it needs fuel and yeah whatnot so uh also uh keep in mind like i said it has all those fuel uh oil and coolant lines which go back here there you go they can get attached to something else obviously they cannot right now but yeah also the lift same thing and i think i missed the color yeah i think this is bright blue it should be like darker blue this lift here has uh yeah you cannot see the the oil line but it has a on on ah oh, it has an oil line going in yeah it's too late i i'm, I'm kind of tired with recording uh and also has a coolant line you can see those guys are coming in from here just kind of distribution center also there's another piston here inside the distribution center and that is awesome distribution system not center and also another one here for this piston that pops out and then we move on to this guy which has uh not fuel oil and coolant lines as well as this guy and this guy doesn't have an oil line 
and that's a mistake but that's a mistake I'm I'm pretty damn happy with I'm not gonna fiddle around with it everything is good and you know the the engines are electric or whatnot yeah I could have like you know placed the electric cables and all that but I think that was a too much of a fuss so I just didn't do it uh, the garage doors are working with pistons and uh, and bearings as usual. I always wanted to make those doors, but making manual pistons was just too much fuss with it. So, yeah, this looks way more awesome. I mean, I would love to have like, I would like to have it on the wheels to actually propel itself. Uh, it has like a path where it should go. But that's a whole different story. I should probably remove this guy. There's also one here. No, it's not. I did remove it already. Uh, you already saw the office. That's, you know, not that complicated. So let me just get through the doors. That's it. Also, the big door is just a simple piston idea. And, you know, it's big because it has more pistons. But that is basically it. So, like any other showcase episode, this is gonna be a bit shorter one, and I do encourage you to leave a comment. I already did see a few comments with the ideas of what should be my next project. I will definitely take them as an input for this uh, for my decision for our next project, but I do encourage you to leave a comment what do you want to see me do next, and probably, you know, something that is piston related as much as it can be. I mean, you know, half the stuff here I could have done like without the pistons, but the, the pistons are cool. The pistons are still new. I've been waiting for pistons for way too long and I just want to do stuff with the pistons. And I also like how this thing looks. Yeah, it, it exactly turned out how I wanted it to turn out. Except the, the corner, but that, that's fine. Yeah, like I said, um, every, every line is kinda has, you know, some sense. If I'm gonna, you know, say like that, and also like gauges for the fuel and for the oil and the coolant, but yeah, and yeah, what was I saying? I was saying about the comments. Yeah, definitely leave a comment. What do you want me to make uh, next? With that's kind of a piston related, uh, so you know, just don't leave a comment like a car because car. I mean, it could have pistons, but I kind of want something more machiney likey thing. So yeah, like I said shorter episode the showcase is over so this is gonna be it i know it's a bit too short this is probably gonna kill me but it's a showcase so yeah so by the end of this thing i hope you'll be able to click down in the description below to check the download links i'm also gonna post the download links in the discord uh channel uh don't forget to you know join our discord server because you can chat with us real time mostly although i'm not online during the week because i'm usually dead tired but you can definitely join us and talk with us and this is it so yeah uh thank you guys for watching please subscribe leave a comment like i said like 50 times already uh, like the video and see you next time on a new project